see this? Yeah. All right, well. And so I'm going to chop that up because I have a new one right there. Fill this hole right here. So then this is covered. Dirty pan drain plug, and filter. All right, so for my car, it is a 17 millimeter. Handed, so I gotta switch this. It turns out this pan is. Oh, geez, that's on there. Oh, there we go. Right my head a little. <laughs> Take that. Oh, this is probably gonna be a little warm. I'll let it sit a little bit. Oh, God, please don't burn me right away. Okay, Ooh, I'm overreacting. Still warm though. Nasty. I felt like I needed an oil change. This thing kind of sort of, being a Subaru, likes to burn a little bit of oil. The rags are over there. Okay, so let's be honest. Wouldn't that really, 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 really suck if I like, I don't know, forgot to put the drain plug in? before I oiled it up. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be messy. Uh, Cause at some point I'm gonna have to get my hand in there. Oh, and now's the good time to. Here we go. Gotta be quick, gotta be agile. Ah, hot, warm, ooh, actually hot, 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 hot. The speed. Oof! Come on already! Okay, it's kind of... Oh, there we go! Whew! So like... These cars, as beefy as they are... <laughs> I love it still. It's got like the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest filter. Like, look at this thing. Fits in the palm of my hand. But, gets the job done. Okay, I'm gonna have to wipe everything down. But as far as I know, it's a good thing to get a little bit on your finger and kind of, you know, make it so it doesn't, you know, totally seal forever. Just wipe around it some sort of lube in a way just so just in case it like let's say I don't know welds itself to there that would suck a lot of things could suck when it comes to mechanics that's why I don't have it as a job it's just interesting to me and it can st stay interesting because I'm not getting paid to do it all right so it is time for me to Ugh. put the skid plate back on the new one over there that's all wrapped up Put the skid plate back on. Chop that one up right there. That one. And see if I can figure out a way to just cover that up. Got it.
It's all in there. It's all new looking. The only thing that's not new looking is this right here. So before I put my wheel on, I just need to see if I can find a way to cut something from that old mud flap over there and cut it so then it can kind of sort of be flush here, you know, like the other one. Like that covers everything on like this one. All right, so this is what I managed to conjure up out of this old skid plate. And the idea is to just kind of sort of have it <clears throat> fill that gap like this. And underneath, it'll look smooth again. And that will be totally covered. So, like, the main reason why I want to cover that tear spot out where my air intake is is because it comes springtime I don't want to go buy McDonald's and then all of a sudden I hit a puddle because all the snow is melting it's Canada and drown my car all right it's in there perfect just gotta dump the oil Okay, and I am putting the mechanics tools away. Cut, well, I mean, maybe kind of sort of away. I mean, that's what he tells me to do. That's where he tells me to put them. I, I, I put them back as best as I possibly can. Uh, and I usually always do. It's just probably, it's, if, okay, guys, anybody, anywhere, if a mechanic lets you use his tools, put them away. All right, so this is what I'm using. Uh, Got to make sure it's fully synthetic, obviously, or something like this. Complicated setup. Uh, my car court calls for four quarts, which would be four of these. So here we go. Okay, so I do have a filter, okay? I mean, ugh, not a filter, a funnel. I do have a funnel. That's not it, obviously. I left mine at home, <laughs> but it works. Alrighty, the initial start first, let it cycle through first before you top it off sort of thing, you know? And I think we are good. Ugh. And I am done. Uh, thank you for watching.